Hello, welcome back to my channel, Shally here. Let's get into it. I love mushrooms. I love taking mushrooms. I love microdosing. I love macrodosing. I love fully tripping. I love doing it at the beach, in the forest, by myself, with friends, in a social setting. In general, I just love it. I am literally a mushroom at this point. It's helped me in so many ways and I just feel so much better about myself. And honestly, it's something that I just genuinely enjoy doing. There's so many reasons why I love mushrooms, but this is one of my favorite reasons. And it's because this is something that's consistent with every mushroom experience no matter how much I take or where I take it or who I'm with. And it's the epiphanies, the aha moments. Basically, mushrooms make you hyper aware. Hyper aware of everything going on within you, around you, the people around you, or even honestly the world at large. And depending on what you're currently going through or the intention that you set for your trip, you are going to gain some sort of insight. The answers are just gonna come to you. And the best part is that epiphanies can happen while you're tripping or even days after. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. So for example, recently I took mushrooms and I went to the beach. I just took a microdose, just a little baby amount, and I went to the beach by myself. Lately, I have been realizing that I've been carrying some sort of guilt and shame. I don't know, I've just been feeling like that. And I know it's been holding me back from attracting things in my life, situations in my life that I wanted. And so I'm like, why do I feel guilty? Why do I feel shameful? What am I ashamed of? And the intention I set for that day was to release any sort of guilt or shame that I have been carrying. A lot of people unknowingly carry guilt and shame. And because of that, it can hold you back from so many things in life, like so many different areas. And I felt like I had been carrying that and it was just like, you know, throwing off my root chakra and all of that. So I wanted to release it. I wanted to bring it actually up to the surface so that I could figure out what it was so I could work through it and let it go. So I'm at the beach, I'm just hanging out, just having a good old time. And I'm by myself, I have my little set of my umbrella. And next to me, there's this woman and which I think is her husband and their kid. And the husband and the kid are then in the water playing and the woman's sitting by herself with the umbrella. And then out of nowhere, a gust of wind comes and like literally takes her umbrella out of the sand and like makes it tumble kind of in front of me, but not really, it was like really nowhere near me. It was just like in front of me. And she got up and she like, before she could even go to the umbrella, she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay this? I was like, yeah, of course. Like it literally didn't go anywhere near me. Like you're fine. And she's like, okay, okay. And she's like freaking out rushing to go get it. And then probably like two, three seconds later, her husband turns around and he comes back up and goes, what did you do? Why is the umbrella there? What did you do? And she's like, I didn't do anything. Like I didn't even touch it at all. And then he's like, okay, you know, don't get so defensive. I'm just wondering what's going on. And I was like, wait a minute. So I'm like, let's rewind. First of all, she was already felt some sort of guilt about the wind taking her umbrella over to me and she apologized which was fine you know but like the umbrella went nowhere near me and it was just kind of giving the vibes of like say i bumped into her at the store and she turned around and told me sorry she didn't even do anything right so she was already sorry and guilty about that whatever those Okay, and then her husband immediately turned around and was blaming her and, and blaming her and immediately saying it was her fault and this and that and she already was feeling guilty and then she started to feel even more guilty and then he then completely gaslights her and turns around and was like, hey, why are you getting all defensive? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. He probably does that to her all the time because just the way just I'm just a very intuitive person and like I said when you're on, I'm on mushrooms I'm literally watching this whole thing and just like hyper aware and I'm like wow he probably does that to her all the time and then I just I'm a deeper person so I just really think of why people are the way they are and I'm like her parents probably do that to her all the time too which is why she then grew up and attracted a, a partner who does that to her too which then continues this loop of her being blamed for stuff and feeling shame and feeling guilt. And so I'm like, okay, how can I relate that back to me? Because everything's a mirror in life. Like everything that you face, every person you encounter, your relationships, your friendships, whatever, it's a mirror. So I'm like, how can I relate that back to me? And I'm like, damn. And I start thinking about it. And I'm like, I definitely got blamed for a lot of stuff growing up. I'm the older sibling. So I definitely got blamed for a lot of things going up, growing up, even if I literally didn't do anything wrong. Or I remember past relationships where I would get blamed for things, old bosses, like just certain things like that. And like, when you're not aware of that going on, you start to internalize it. And then when you internalize it, it just becomes a part of you. And then you project out that energy and then whatever. So I started realizing like, wow, I was just, I was wrongfully blamed for things growing up. and I just started to internalize that, internalize that. And that caused me to carry a lot of guilt and a lot of shame. So anyway, I realized that and I'm driving home and I'm like excited about it because I'm like, oh my gosh, cool. I just like unlocked another level. I set my intention and I let it go, completely forgot about it. And then like this 
whole situation happens and it starts to make me realize about myself and I'm having these epiphanies and these insights. And now that I know better, I can do better. That's the best part about these epiphanies. You're learning what's blocking you. You're, you're having these insights and these aha moments about something that you're pondering on. And like I said, when you know better, you can do better. You can work on it. You could heal it. You could show up better in life and just not in that sense anymore because that isn't harboring over you anymore. On a larger scale, an epiphany that I recently had when I was doing a macro dose is that most people doubt their talents and abilities and equate their self-worth to things outside of them. And we do that because we've been conditioned to be like that since we were kids. Everybody, think about it. Think about when you're in school and you would get gold stars for good behavior. Or if you had parents that only congratulated you when you did exceptionally well on a project or something for school, you know, as much as putting it on the fridge, like, look, this is your, you're only getting recognition and stuff when you get an A plus or this. And it's like a lot of our teachers and parents, they did that with good intentions. But when you think about it, you don't realize how that is affecting a kid's psyche, how it's affecting a kid's sense of self-worth. They're starting to think to themselves, okay, if I do really, really well, or if I act really, really good, that's when I'll get praised. And if I don't do that, or if I get, you know, maybe not the best score or whatever, then I won't. So then they start to internalize that. And they start to think low of themselves if they don't do perfect on a test, or if instead of getting three gold stars for the week, they only got two because they were talking with a friend or something like that. And I know it seems small, but in a child's mind who is not understanding all of that yet, they internalize that. And then if you haven't realized that yet, you grew up thinking that. And then now in our society with social media, with likes and follows and views and people thinking that they're, they're sitting there producing amazing art, amazing content, really valuable stuff. And they're thinking that it's not good enough because it didn't get enough views because it didn't get enough likes, because they don't have that many followers, when it's all based on literally an algorithm that we don't have any control over. All we have control over is us and what we put out and who we are and how we are. And if you think something's good and if you're proud of it, that's enough. But unfortunately, a lot of people struggle with that because of the conditioning we've had since we were kids. So yeah, that's another really big epiphany that I've had lately, but because I know that, then it makes me feel better. It makes me feel better when I'm creating something or working on art or when I'm just, you know, being myself and I just am inherently starting to feel worthy in general. Not because I did something good, not because I did the chores at home, not because I got a bunch of likes on that picture or anything, just because of me just because of literally me. I'm inherently worthy and deserving as is, and so are you. It runs really deep. Anywho, having these realizations is basically like having a breakthrough because you're breaking through these limiting beliefs. It's like you're breaking through the wall of whatever was blocking you from that aspect of yourself. And like I said, when you know better, you do better. So you're realizing that these are your issues. You're realizing why they're your issues. So you know how to work through them. You know how to feel better about them. You know how to show up in life differently now. And when these issues might pop up again, cause you know, nothing just happens overnight. Like we're all a work in progress. And then when these issues pop up again, you know how to deal with it. You know how to feel better about it. And then you can move differently. And as you move differently through life and react to things differently, then your life starts to change. Your reality starts to change. When you change the inside and you heal the inside the outside starts to reflect that so yeah mushrooms can do that <laughs> they've literally done that for me on so many levels from my sense of self my relationships my career my health my wealth my mental health my well-being my wellness just everything i've literally dove deep into all these different aspects of my life and of the world and i have an entirely new perspective of myself which is so much better and so much more loving and positive which then reflects out to the world i live in a different world now than I did three years ago, four or five years ago, because of doing all this introspective work on myself and having these freaking epiphanies from this fantastic fungi. That's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy content about psychedelic mushrooms and plant medicine and just deep talks and introspection and epiphanies and all of that, I'm your girl. Hit subscribe and let's talk about it. Let's hang out, let's chat. This is my neck of the woods. I am a mushroom girl, a shaw woman, Shaw woman Shally, if you will. And if you're interested in learning more about microdosing mushrooms and how it can upgrade your mind and your lifestyle, check out my signature microdosing mushrooms course where I teach you exactly how to microdose mushrooms, all about them and all the different kinds of mushrooms, where to get them from and how to integrate holistic health practices as well as mindfulness into your whole mushroom experience to accelerate your healing. I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one coaching when it comes to microdosing mushrooms. If you just are completely new to it and you need someone 
to hold your hand throughout this experience, have somebody to talk to about your experiences. It's always great. It's always good to have somebody to talk to and to just help you make sense of what's going on in your mind, especially when you're going through an internal, mental, well-being healing experience that mushrooms and psychedelics bring to you. I have that link below, so check it out. And let me know in the comments if you've taken mushrooms and what epiphanies you've had and how it makes you feel and when you experience your insights and things like that, I would love to talk about this and chat more. And I just love hearing about people's positive experiences from mushrooms and just all of the insights and introspections that it brings to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.